hello once again here we are we are still looking at genesis chapter 26 and let's look at verse 24 it says and the lord appeared to him that night and said i am the god of your father abraham do not be afraid for i am with you i will bless you and multiply your offspring because of my servant Abraham. So this got me thinking that if children can be blessed because of us, it means that children can be cursed because of us. So, oh man, parents, um, let's set our children up for greatness. Let's set them up uh, by being the best that we can in our lives. And let's fix our mess while we're still alive. Guys, I mean, oh, the journey of getting right with God could be a difficult one and sometimes very embarrassing. I know I've had to uh, come out on issues that were so embarrassing for me to share, even with my leaders, inner struggles that I had. But you know what? When I saw scriptures like these, that my children will be influenced by what I, I, I did, it was really worth it. It was absolutely worth it. And I want to encourage you also to get into that, clean up your house so that your children will also walk in the freshness of what God would have started doing in your life. It's a journey. But as your children grow, they will see the man and the woman you are becoming. They will understand that this is what you were in the past and this is what you are becoming. And you must tell them, you know, uh, there are things that we have discussed with our children and say to them, guys, you know, before we really loved God, this is how we were and this is how, was our thought line. And God has really turned us around and we are sharing these things um, because our children are older and they understand and also because we want to encourage them to begin to make the right decisions earlier in their life okay verse 34 of genesis 26 when esau was 40 years old he took as his wives judith daughter of barry the hittite and basmath daughter of elon the hittite they made life bitter for isaac and rebecca I, you know i know that we are in a generation when someone says, well i'm choosing when i choose a wife i'm choosing for myself and it's about me and stuff like that so oh, but if you really love your parents you have to marry well and marry with wisdom and show them love because these wives made life bitter for Isaac and Rebecca, their lives were embittered by the wives they'd taken. But look at when you compare and look at how Ruth made life so beautiful for his for her mother-in-law. Can you imagine the woman that you marry, Sunny, and that woman makes your mother uh, such a priority? Can you imagine the, the, the man that you marry who will just come up and be a blessing to your father? So choose well and ask for wisdom. Praise the Lord. Amen. Chapter 27. Um, I picked on verse 20. But Isaac said to his son, how did you ever find it so quickly, my son? And he replied, because the Lord your God worked it out for me. Mm. These guys had tried. They really tried to, to, to do things right and to follow God. But here is a cunning little uh, young man that they given birth to, birth to. And the father asked, how did you find it so quickly? And I want to find out from you, how did you find what you have so quickly? How did you get into wealth so quickly? How did you get into that marriage so quickly? And because all the things that we do quickly will come back and bite us. But now he has to lie and say, well, your God did it for me. And the whole act now begins, oh man, um, let's watch out on the things that we are getting too quickly so that we, we are sure that those things really glorify God. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Um, verse 24, the father is really still feeling mm, something's just not right. Again, he asked, are you really my son, Esau? And he replied, I am. Hmm? He says, I am. And straight up, you know, without thinking twice, I don't know, he, the, the lies of his forefathers were, 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 were catching up with him and the young man just couldn't resist it. Um, and besides, remember the mother said, let the curse be upon me. 
And I looked at it how Jesus himself has said to us, let the curse be upon him. He is the one who carried the curse on us uh, or, or, or on him for us. And we must continue to honor him. Um, I'm not equating uh, Rebecca to, to, to Jesus, but I'm just, it, I thought that just crossed my mind. Uh, verse 27, so he came closer and kissed him when Isaac smelled his clothes. He blessed him and said, ah, the smell of my son. It's like the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. And that's, that question still comes. How did you get what you got? Did you spray uh, some perfume that, uh, so that you could smell a certain way or to be a certain way? Did you have to pretend or to lie or to be a corn man or woman for you to get where you are? And every day you're now looking over your shoulder because you're not so sure who is going to find you out. And look at the blessing that comes on verse 29, the last one. May your mother's sons bow down to you. May your mother's sons bow down to you. Oh, merciful God. Look at that. He has been blessed and he has been given so much power. <laughs> he has been given so much power. I don't know how he will use it. I don't know how he'll use it. What do you think? Um, if you've been given so much power, would you use it to the benefit of these siblings of yours that are supposed to bow before you? We go to verse 32. Um, Esau has also made some delicious stuff and he's bringing it to dad. And uh, daddy says, uh, who are you? He says, I'm Esau. I spoke about the law of timing on the other video. That's what delays do, man. Delays will cause you to find other people having blessed with your stuff already do not delay be quick be quick be quick and that delay cost Esau his birthright and the father cries and says your brother came deceitfully and took your blessing you know um then he says well Esau is now the one who's speaking he took my birthright and look now he has taken my blessing um remember he did not put value in the birthright because the birthright would have to come with a blessing so the one who had the birthright is the one who had the blessing it is the same way uh with us when we're in christ when we have become new creation we begin to have the right to the things of god we have the right to the things of God. And that is so amazing and so profound, friends, that I pray that the Lord will help us to see it and to live it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the blessing can achieve mighty things. It's amazing, the blessing can. Because that's all that um, Jacob then left with. Um, he left with just the blessing. And look at what God then did. Um, yeah, what God then did to him. And Esau now held a grudge and he wants to kill his brother and um, he is sent off away and the, family, the parents have to send him away because they have fear that they will lose. Um, they, they will lose both of them. It's, Rebecca says, it's, says that why should I lose you both in one day? Because if they gotten into a fight, it have been, meant that someone was going to be hurt. Let's see what I wrote there. Um, we see that even though Jacob had gotten the gift, uh, the blessing in the wrong way, he also obeyed and Esau rebelled deliberately. Uh, in chapter 28, Esau made a decision to marry. It says in verse 8, 28 verse 8, it says, Esau realized that his father Isaac disapproved of the Canaanite women. So Esau went to Ishmael and married in addition to his other wife and all that. So he, he went deliberately to then do exactly that which was against his parents. Are you obedient? Are you obedient? Do you listen to your authorities and doing to God himself. So this morning, I want you to pray and say, Lord, help me to obey in the same way that you were obedient to the Father in Jesus' name.